Crank up those outdoor appetites, kids, because we'll be eating before you can say, give me Gucci Cacciatore. <laughs> Here's a can opener, John. Can opener? <laughs> Are we not hardy and cunning campers? Are we not woodsy people with wilderness ways? <laughs> come on. Come on. Just, uh, come here, you. Uh. Ah! <sighs> Are we not... <laughs> you know, a, a lot worse than that happened the last time I got a machine to do my work for me. This is the story of how that machine ran amok. It was as beautiful a day as there ever has been at Camp Candy. It was so bright, even the birds were wearing sunglasses. And the trees were dancing in the breeze. John, is the story? Oh, 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 right, yes. So there I was, staring at a list of camp repairs a mile long. How long? Okay, maybe a little less than a mile. <laughs> At any length, I had lots of work to do, and helpers weren't exactly leaping out of the woodwork. Hi, John. Oh. Hi, John. Yeah, no, no, hold on, Binky. I, I could use your help. Binky! B Binky! Make my new rock apple boots, John! Something was weird at Camp Candy that day. Everyone had a new gadget. John, check out this computerized fishing pole. If you want to catch a catfish, you just type in C-A-T cat. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Hmm, I guess you have to type F-I-S-H. Fish. John, check out these dehydrated canoes. This Jiffy Pop tent. Where did you kids get all this stuff? I almost expected to see a guy in a red suit with eight flying reindeer. But instead, I saw Vanessa, the goddess of mail order. Whoa! She'd been sending away for the latest gimmicks in her Wilderness Wonders catalog. Vanessa, most people go to summer camp to try and rough it a little, you know? Well, John, my idea of roughing it is no room service after midnight. That's why I love the Wilderness Wonders catalog. It has everything the modern camper needs. Yeah, everything but a paint the mess hall, fix the leaky porch, and mend the cabin screen so I can take you kids on a hike-type machine. <sighs> All work, no play makes John boring. That may be, but I'm head counselor around here, and when there's work to be done, it's my job to do it. But, John, you know how painting and hammering makes your allergies flare up. <gasps> Achoo! It does? The Wilderness Wonders catalog has just what you need, John. Hmm. The Robo Camper X1000 Solar Powered Summer Camp Companion Kit. Maybe I have been working a little too hard lately. I knew you'd see the light, John. That's why I've already ordered your very own Robo Camper. And here it is. Camp Candy was about to blast into the robot age. Or the robot age was about to blast into Camp Candy. I wasn't sure which. Now remember, campers, when working with any kind of tool, always wear protective eyeglasses. What's this, John? Not now, Binky. I'm working with dangerous tools here. <sighs> What's this, John? Not now, Binky. I've got to get this crate open. Hey! hey. Stop campers when you want some fun. And the work's too much that you got to get done. Go Robo Camper! Uh-huh. I'm robotic, I'm metallic, and I'm on the run. I'm Robo Camper. Uh huh. You hit Cap Counselor 911. Yes, it's America's newest tough one, tough guy. He'll protect us against savage cannibal headhunters. Where? And from nightmares on elm trees. Oh! And why? Because he's done it a dumb Robo Camper. <laughs> oh, Robo. Put your metal muscles around here. John will never have to work again. Where is John? <laughs> Are you okay, John? Come on, John. Let's go for a hike. You can trust Robo to do the work. <laughs> All right. Robo All right, camper. you guys win. Do the work. Way to go, Robo. Go no hiking. <laughs> <laughs> And what a day we had. It rained colored sprinkles as we headed up Banana Split Trail. Mmm, tutti-frutti. 
And we finished up toasting marshmallows on top of Pyro Peak. Oh, no. But after a while, I had this nagging feeling that something wasn't quite right. Sure enough, when we got back to Camp Candy... Say, kids, did we order these other boxes? Wow! Check out Camp Candy! Now this almost makes the wilderness seem civilized! Now, where did that robo-renovator go? Just remember, John, if it wasn't for RoboCamper, you'd still be painting the dining hall. At least it would still look like the dining hall, Vanessa. Look, aluminum animals. Here you go. Have some nuts. Mechanical wildlife? That robot's gone too far. Boy, I'll say. I really like what you've done with this place, Robo. It's modern, yet livable. It's outdoorsy, yet functional. Yeah, and it's got more blinking lights than the Starship Enterprise. What are you saying? That thing has ruined Camp Candy. Yeah, it looks like Plastic City around here. Plastic will not split, chip, or fade. Buzz click. Or biodegrade, you, you polluter computer. If you're cool, come with Robo. And if you're human, come with us. Oh, it was awful. The kids wouldn't have anything to do with my pot holders or pine cone paperweights. Not with Robo Camper around. First, Robo had them draw the perfect still life subject. My dog, Lucky. <laughs> Bullseye? I can't believe it! You guys never even hit the target before! <laughs> they seem to like Robo's culinary concoctions better than my charred wieners. Something has to be done. Alex, lend me your knife. I'm gonna turn that thing off. I sure hope you know what you're doing, John. Oh no! John's been robo fried! I came to a shocking realization. Shocking, get it? <laughs> Choose anyone? Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. We'll never be able to stop him. He wants on solar chips. Oh, boy, I like potato chips. Suddenly there I was, facing off against a crazed robot that was going to take some quick thinking to stop that solar power rascal. Binky, quick, let me your bow and arrow. I shot an arrow in the air. It changed the weather to foul from there. <laughs> Hooray! The rain shot out Robo solar chips! Whoa! Ah! Now, Earl, will you tell me exactly what's wrong with this here picture? The very next day, we sent Robo Camper back where he came from. But that wasn't the end of it. Just as things were getting back to normal. Oh, this is too good to be true. John, everyone, listen. Dear Camp Candy, because you've been our best customer for the last year, Wilderness Wonders Catalog is sending you a big bonus gift. What? Your head counselor will always know where you are when you go into the woods with Tall Paul the Wilderness Doll. Whoa! 
This is a story about the time we opened our hearts to a camper from a faraway land. It all began on a typical Camp Candy day. The bees were buzzing happily. Well, maybe not so happily. After her, boys, she's the human who stole our honey. Hey, it's the Phantom of the Campfire, right? Oh, this? Oh, it's my honey and high fiber purifying mask. I'm a Gripsky slop of the cockpit. Oh, I'll never get this. Bride of Slime Monster, meet Candy the Barbarian. <laughs> oh, 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 so where did you get that darling costume? What? Not what, where did you get it? What? What's wrong with him? I'm just trying to make our new exchange camper feel at home. She comes from Vought. Where? I just told you, Vought. But you haven't told me then. It's going to be one of those days. Everybody was geared up for the arrival of Zagulina, the foreign exchange camper from Vought. The land of Vought, nestled between Switzerland and Austria. Yeah, yeah, Hungary and Bulgaria. I mean, I mean Finland. It's, it's well, you, you know, Vought. I've thought of everything. French manicure set, widescreen entertainment center, and a high-tech speakerphone for calling your parents. Vanessa, I, I don't think they have phones in Vought. <gasps> Bite your tongue. Here's what Zagulina really needs. Oh, isn't that a little, uh, hefty? I think I put in a little too much granola. Well, you girls have thought of everything. And this time tomorrow, I'll pick Zagulina up. I pick you up, not to worry. Nice outfit. <laughs> Greetings from Vat. I'm Zagulina. Now there's a cool camper. <laughs> Welcome to Camp Candy, Zagulina. My friends call me Zagu in Vat. What? Zagu! <laughs> well, I'm John, the head counselor. Er, um, how did you get here? It's simple. Plane, take me to town. Bus, take me to lake. Then I swim across lake with one hand, carry trunk with other. Uh-huh. Here's where you'll be sleeping, Zagu. Right by me. It's too soft. Camp is to make tough. Tonight, we sleep on what bed? Uh, anything to make our camper feel at home. Right, gang? Uh, gang? Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. Sounds good to me. That night, we all slept bot style so Zagu would feel at home. The rest of us were just mildly inconvenienced. Now we must have early morning swim. It's tradition. It's 40 degrees below zero at this hour. Well, Zegu, <laughs> I'd love to experience the traditions of your country, but, you know, the water's a bit, uh, you know, nippy. <laughs> oh. Last one in water is rotten, flick, and flacken. Ay -ay 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 Nobody calls me a rotten, flick, and flacken. <laughs> Check out Shamu. Oh, I can do that. Watch. Uh, maybe next time I'll wear a, a wetsuit or maybe a snowsuit. <laughs> In spite of the cold beginning, most of the kids warmed up to Zagu. So, guys, what do you think? She's a superstar! She's a cool specimen of nature. She's a major show-off. Wait a sec. Sure, her ways are different, but give her a chance, okay, Alex? Okay. Maybe I can help her fit in. But Alex was the one who had a fit. <laughs> Running home, Alex? Ah! Fireball! <laughs> Almost as good as I would have done it. Alex, he be looking here! 
really great. It's traditional rowing. Try it. Or are you too tired? I am getting plenty tired of her. I, I think maybe Alex not liking me. How could anybody not like you, Zagu? Just, just hang in there, okay? Alex was flunking out as our goodwill ambassador, so I suggested she take a hike. A hike up to Finger Point, that is. Ten shot! Hop, two, three, four! Hop, two, three, four! Is red custard, Zedlik? And there is strawberry and poison Krapotsky vine! Wow, girl, you sure know your flora and fauna. Listen up, campers. Now we're going to blaze a new trail from Finger Point here all the way up to Punk Rock. We'll make the trail by marking the trees. In my country, we make the trail like this. It's fun! This is war! Come on, troops! Whoa! I'd like to see her in the wrestling ring up against Hulk Hogan. I'd like to see her go home. Slowing down, Zagu. Just an exercise break. We take one every hour in Vat. <sighs> Say, Zagu, how about trying an old American custom? We call it lunch. Yeah, we cook over traditional fire. Come, we must gather much wood. There they are, troops. Attack! Favorite. Carry out. Ah! There used to be food in here. Anyone seen the food? It was right here a minute ago. It's no problem. In my country, people live on wild onions and pine cones. Somehow I knew that. Do you think you could look for those extra large, extra tasty pine cones? After an interesting dinner, it was time to climb into our sleeping bags and call it a night. Everyone but Alex, that is. At 5 a.m., Zagulina called it a morning. While we were snoozing, Zagu relaxed by putting the shot. Or is it shotting the foot? I, I forget. Look out! I heard you say big rock! We may have been out of food, but Zagu saved our bacon. But not everybody was grateful. I hope you realize your showing off almost killed us, Zagulina. Many sorries. I, I, I just tried to do my best, Alex. <sighs> this is getting to be majorly annoying. You know, Alex, maybe Zagu acts this way so you'll like her. <laughs> I need to see what she do to make me not like her. Hey, look, gang, it's Camp Candy. Home sweet home. Oh, oh no, it's a flood. Yep, Zagu's little avalanche of rocks dammed up the stream, diverting the water and sending it straight to Camp Candy. Camp Candy is doomed. Ah! Not to worry, Zagu will fix. We've got to save Camp Candy! Come on, everybody! Zagu needs our help! It's good, no? It's good, yes! Thanks, Zagu. My extra close friends call me Za. Yay! So Camp Candy wasn't a total washout. That night we celebrated around the fire with real camp food. So, uh, what do you think of American food, Za? Good! Zagu, for saving Camp Candy, we'd like to present you with a pair of genuine designer label American stonewashed jeans. Is folk costume? Straight from the folks in Beverly Hills. Many thanks you, but you all helped Zagu, especially Alex, his good, strong friend. I have to admit, I was jealous at first, but now I am a good, strong friend. It's my job as exchange camper to show you traditions of fun. And we want to show you our traditions. You already show. Working together is tradition, yeah? 
Yaza, but there's something else. Having fun is tradition. The best part was we all learned that whether you're from Vought, there, then or how, only one thing matters. Friendship. That's 